That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. I believe that Gandhi's view... In August 1991, communist hardliners staged a coup attempt after Mikhail Gorbachev proposed greater independence for the republics of the Soviet Union. Boris Yeltsin led a popular resistance to put down the coup, and the Communist Party was suspended. In December, Yeltsin and other republic leaders created the Commonwealth of Independent States. Gorbachev then resigned, and the Soviet Union was officially dissolved.
one of the most demanding and potentially dangerous of the disciplines of women's gymnastics is the beam. A single wooden beam five meters long, it is only 10 centimeters wide and is raised 1.2 meters above the ground. Gymnasts begin by mounting the beam, after which they must perform their entire routine balancing on it. Routines include cartwheeling back and forth along the beam, handstands, balancing and pivoting on one foot, and most demanding of all, somersaults both forwards and backwards in which the landing must be judged to perfection to avoid falling off the beam. The supreme test of balance in gymnastics ends with the flourish of a formal dismount. In 1949, Germany was divided by the victors of World War II into occupied zones. The western regions united to form a federal republic, and the Soviet-controlled zone became Communist East Germany. The Cold War had begun. Berlin, the former capital of Germany, was divided into East Berlin and West Berlin, but was located deep in the Soviet-controlled zone. In 1961, the East German government erected a wall separating the two halves of the city. The Western world helped prevent the complete isolation of West Berlin through an effort led by the United States. President John F. Kennedy declared his commitment. As a free man, I take pride in the word, Ich bin ein Berliner. At the brink of nuclear war, the United States and Soviet Union reached a stalemate. But the Berlin Wall remained a symbol of the Cold War battle line known as the Iron Curtain. It was not until the 1980s that the Cold War tensions eased through the glasnost policies of Soviet leader Mikhail Gorbachev. Finally, in November 1989, emigration barriers dropped, allowing free passage between the two halves of the city. Soon the wall crumbled at the hands of the people it once divided. From his rebel base in the Sierra Maestra Mountains of Cuba, Fidel Castro waged a guerrilla war against the government of dictator Florencio Batista. By 1959, Castro's forces were in control of Havana, the capital. Once in power, Castro transformed Cuba into a Soviet-style island state. He built an open friendship with the Soviet Union that placed Cuba in the center of the Cold War. Like many revolutionary leaders, Castro's power is based on both personal charisma and a tightly controlled political system that maintains his position. Around the globe, people use music to celebrate, mourn, pray, dance, work, and relax. The vast number of different styles of music mirror the rich diversity of human culture. Some music can be heard far from its place of origins. Other types of music remain closely linked to a particular place and people. Mountains are the supreme expression of the landscape. They define physical space by making natural barriers and cause far-reaching effects on the weather. Mountains provide unique habitats and shelter for wildlife and humans, but also pose many dangers. Mountains are a source of inspiration to many cultures. Certain peaks are even regarded as spiritual centers.